Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Guys, once I've got this big glass up, I'm sitting behind it, you can't see me, so I'll try to sneak a look around here on this big glass. That's what, another reason why I don't use these big glasses. But this beer here is from Offshoot Beer Company, uh, and uh, they're, of course, they're out in California. They're uh, an offshoot of uh, uh, the brewery. Uh, I did one of their beers uh, several weeks ago, guys, and uh, I had an old beer, and I had bought that beer at the craft beer store, and uh, I didn't go back and look at the review, but I don't think I was really pleased with it, uh, and I had a message from, from Daniel, and he's with uh, the brewery and Offshoot, and uh, he reached out to me, and uh, sent me a message and it says, Hey Greg, we wanted to reach out to you regarding a recent review of one of our beers, Retreat, Hazy Double IPA. First and foremost, thanks for the candid feedback. We really do, uh, it says, uh, thanks for candid feedback. We really do value all feedback from fans regarding our beers. That being said, we do want to offer you some fresh beer to try, some clarity based on what you mentioned in your review. Offshoot Beer Company is in fact a secondary brand that we owned and produced. Years ago, founder Patrick Rue said the brewery would never brew an IPA. Thus, Offshoot Beer Company was born to get around that claim. The brand is dedicated to our IPAs and hop-focused beers. We are not a contract brewer for the brand, but rather the developers and brewers. Now for the tough part, we do in fact date code all of our can production as you alluded to believe that date coding, cold supply chain and stock rotation are key to high quality fresh beer. Yes it is. Unfortunately the can that you had in your possession did not meet those standards and for that we were both sorry and disappointed in the process. We couldn't help but notice that the can you reviewed was a sleeve can meaning the label is heat shrunk to the blank aluminum can. This is a solution used for small batch canning and Retreat being one of our larger brand has used a printing can for the past nine months. The implication there is that the beer was in fact quite old. And that's the problem I have around here guys. I mean even going to the craft beer store I'm getting old beer. And, uh, and especially if it didn't have a date code on it and even if it did these guys uh, are more interested in making the sale rather than pulling old beer off or marking it down to get rid of it uh, when it gets close to the you know the shelf life in the shelf life. So I mean, uh, so I mean that's the problem I have. A lot of areas don't have that problem, but we most definitely do in this part of Virginia. And the people that control the distribution around here are the big guys, uh, the Bud Miller Coors guys. And they'd rather push their horse piss than anything else, of course. Uh, so they could care less whether they carry your beer, your craft beers or not. That's the problem we have when they control it. And they have controlled it for over 100 years, guys. Uh, so it's very sad, our situation here. Uh, and uh, he goes on to mention that he'd like to send me some fresh beer and... Uh, and uh, for me uh, to re-review, I guess, or enjoy. Uh, and of course, I'm going to re-review them, guys. Uh, especially, uh, uh, and this one, when he said that they have used a printed can for the last nine months on that particular beer, I'm not sure. I don't have that beer. I do have it in the fridge. But this one here is their Unwind Hoppy Pills. And uh, it says, you earned this Hoppy Pills. And this has a heat shrunk label on it. It is not a printed can. So uh, he sent me three beers to, to do and uh, I'm going to look at each one and if it has a heat shrunk label on it, it is not a printed can. So Daniel, I do appreciate you sending this to me, but I'm going to tell it like it is. I'm not going to pull any punches whether I pay for the beer or a subscriber sends it to me or a brewery sends it to me. Uh, that's, what, that's what I am known for, guys. I don't pull any punches. If it's a 
outstanding beer, I'm going to tell you that. And if it's not so, I'm going to tell you that too, whether, however it comes to my possession, whether I paid for it or not. So, this one does have a heat shrunk label on it, but it does have a canned on date, and this one says it was canned on of 3-24 of 20. So, this was March 24th, April, May. Today is May the 17th. So, this one is not quite two months old, so it still should be rather tasty. And uh, at 5.7%, it's below where I would look. I don't buy a lot of Pilsner's or Lagers anymore, guys. The ales are more my cup of tea. I drank Lagers for 30 years, uh, the macro crap. And uh, I think they, I enjoy the ales more. I like more hoppy presence uh, to my beers. And I have brewed some lagers that are, and, and hopped them up quite a bit. And I do enjoy those. They're nice, easy drinking, crisp, refreshing beers. So, we're going to find out what this unwind, you earned this hoppy pill, is all about. And once again, Daniel, thanks a bunch for sending it to me. Guys, uh, the review I did on the... Uh, the retreat uh, was like 38 or 2, and I didn't go back and look at it, but it's only been like three weeks ago. And uh, it probably didn't have a date on it, or it was a very old beer, one or the other. So, with that being said, we're going to get on with this one. I just want to go that, and I am going to, I got two more beers from this, and I'm going to go over this letter again uh, on those two, just to clarify, uh, in case somebody misses a review or something. Uh, I do appreciate him reaching out, and they seem to be concerned about me picking up old beer, and they're trying to make it right. So, with that being said, over to Untap. We don't have IBUs on this, and refreshing and crushable pills, dry hop with Citra, Nelson, Simcoe, and Sterling hops. So, a uh, big 16-ounce can, so let's get it popped open and get it into the glass and see what we have. And a lot of times these... Uh, the Pilsners and Lagers and stuff are really carbonated, especially in these styles of glasses. I don't want to pour it too aggressive because I want to get it all in the glass. But like again, I, I, I do appreciate him reaching out to me and they do seem to be concerned about old beer. Daniel, that's the problem we have around here. Uh, we really do. And I upset, I mentioned that time and time and time and time again. But you would think uh, uh, going to a craft beer store to purchase your beers, you wouldn't be picking up a nine month old double IPA. <laughs> or older. Really don't know how old it was. But anyway. There we go. Unwind. And it's got a guy in a recliner. Looks like he's sitting in the beach. I hope he's social distancing now. Not, I don't see anybody else sitting around him. So that's a good thing, y'all guys. Uh, take care of yourselves. This corona shit don't play around. Good looking beer. About a finger of head. A slight chill haze on it. A nice amber color. A good looking beer there. So, let's get it to the nose. Very nice. I do have that uh, nice hop presence to the beer. A little bit of citrusy notes and a little bit of pine. Slight hint of some grainy grassiness, but that's typical on the style. It smells very, very pleasant. And at 5.7%, uh, should be real easy drinking, should be very crisp, should be a very enjoyable beer. So let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Daniel. I do appreciate it, sir. Everybody at Offshoot and the brewery. Uh, I really enjoy the brewery's beers. They make some really tasty big beers. Uh, but they're a little on the pricey side in those big 750 milliliters. You're going to expect that. That's a big bottle. So, let's dive in. That is a pleasant beer, guys. That is very, very pleasant. I can say it again. Uh, the lagers and the pilsers are not my cup of tea anymore. But a hoppy version? Yeah, maybe interested. And maybe even a double or imperial version of it may even in, uh, entice me more to pick it up. Uh, like I said, I don't buy a lot of beers that are under 7%. But I do review them when they're sent to me. That's a great 
summertime beer there, guys. Good pool beer. A good beach beer if you can make it to the beach and social distance yourself. Uh, I'm just concerned now that we're going here in Virginia into phase one and trying to reopen business and parks and beaches and all that kind of crap that we're going to get a spike in the, the COVID-19 again. So uh, I'm just I'm just worried about that. I'm hoping that's not going to do that and there's not going, not going to be a lot of additional loss of life, but time will tell. If people don't stay six feet apart and wear their masks and I mean it's it's not over guys by any means and uh, our darkest days may be still ahead. I hope not. So well this beer is nice and crisp and refreshing. A great line more beer is what I call these styles of beer. Good summer beer. Let's sip on it for a while and we'll come back and do the final sip and give it a great. Alright guys, I'm back, got a little left here. Uh, this is a tasty beer, guys. Date's on the bottom of it, ABB's on the can, a nice hoppy Pilsner. Uh, very enjoyable, guys. Great summertime beer. Uh, I enjoyed this. So, Daniel, once again, thanks uh, again. I do appreciate it. Final show. For all you hop heads out there, this is a good Pilsner with a nice hop presence. So, uh, this would, uh, like I said, a good summertime beer. Something with a little bit more taste to it than your plain Jane Pilsners and Lockers. Uh, so, uh, a lot of those beers are big time grassy, grainy, and this one is not so much. A uh, little bit more hoppiness to it. I like it. I, I liked it a lot. So, uh, to me, guys, a minus. That's where I'm going to put this 90. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say NA. Now, I know people have commented. Let's take a quick look. Two, three, four. They've only had five people. And four out of the five got it into four plus range. Only one of them uh, is down in the threes. So, uh, and I say this all the time, guys. Uh, the guys that post on Beer Advocate, and I won't say all of them, but a lot of them, unless it blows them, blows their hair back or their socks off or, or, or something like that, uh, they're, they're not impressed. I mean, uh, and if you say this is a 10 beer, I wouldn't argue with you. I mean, if you like a hoppy pilsner, this may be an outstanding beer. I'm just giving you my opinion. Uh, I would pick this up before I would pick up any macro lager, I can tell you that, if I can get it here, but I can't, so, uh, they come from California, uh, like I said, uh, their beers, uh, evidently are available here, since, uh, uh, I think I picked that other one up at, uh, Craft Beer Store, so, uh, we'll see, uh, brewery has a big distribution, so, uh, I would think the offshoot beer company would have the same distribution, so, uh, we just can't get fresh stuff, I mean, uh, Nice. Alright, over to Untap. They say 3.86, uh, which is in their B plus range. I think it's a little better than a B plus uh, because of the dating and the ABV on the can. So, nice big 16 ounce can. Uh, get your money's worth there. Get your full glass. So, if you've had the Unwind, you earned this hoppy pills from Offshoot Bear Company. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.